Hi, Juicy here, and welcome back to a uh, K-pop. It's been a while since I've actually like been in this location, so this is fun. Um, but yeah, today we are doing another reaction slash review, and this time to Everglow's La Di Da. I am so excited. I am so excited. But anyway, if you haven't seen these style of videos from us before, basically how they're set up is I'm going to be doing a reaction to the music video first, and then around this time, Lori's going to jump in and give a nice review style review. <laughs> She's going to review it. She's going to talk about the dancing, the styling, the lyrics, the music, all that cool stuff. And we are both huge Everglow fans. We saw them in concert, and that was like one of the last concerts we saw before this whole world thing happened so I <laughs> I have a very big place in my heart for Everglow and I really love them and I they are so talented and I listened to the b-sides already because I couldn't wait so now I'm gonna listen to La Di Da and I'm going to have a great time so yeah let's get started <laughs> I have no words and I am speechless like I have nothing coherent to say they are just oh they just 
Somehow they're able to top themselves every single time and I don't know how exactly they do that <laughs> but it's something to be admired because like every time I'm like I don't know how they're gonna top this I don't know how they're gonna and they just do and I something I noticed on this most recent album is their vocals are just off the chain off the wall I don't have words their vocals are just they they go off like just with the ad-libs I just noticed there were so many ad-libs and they were all great they all were just they all just worked. Vocally, they are so talented, but also just visually, they are stunning. And uh, the dance was just really, like, cool. And I love the floor work. I love the floor work. <laughs> yeah, it really reminds me of, like, their cover of, like, No Tears Left to Cry. I love that cover, uh, the dance cover, and it, it just gave me flashbacks to that and just, like, oh, they're just, they're queens. They're queens, and I love it. Okay. Lori, take over. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lori. I'm back in my preferred space. Uh, I have new equipment now that makes this setup a lot easier to get into. So yeah, so hopefully it looks a little better. I'm also a little bit under the weather today, so if you excuse my sickly sounding voice right now, it's a, we'll get through this because I have a lot to say about Everglow's La Di Da music video that just came out. Uh, I have listened to it. Okay, I watched it like the second it dropped as soon as I got the tweet notification that it was there I was staying up late to watch it. It came out like five o'clock in the morning <laughs> And yeah, the second it dropped I was on that notification and then I watched it for like Half an hour because I was just I told Josie I was I just felt like I was slapped in the face with pure power <laughs> I'll start with the song because it's a great song <laughs> So I wrote in my notes, it's a power anthem that calls out the haters with sass. So like, um, in the lyrics, Aisha goes, no sir, no sir. And I think that was so cute. But also they're telling the haters that they can't even hear them because they just go, la di da di da. <laughs> and I thought that was so fun. It was such a fun way because we have kind of a trend of, um, K-pop idols kind of calling out the haters. So you had... Uh, Cards Gunshot, which was like really epic sounding, kind of darker. Um, and you had, we just had Boca, which was about that too. And um, How You Like That was also about that. But this one, I think they did it in a more playful way. And I think that's very much Everglow style because I think they are still considered rookies. They haven't had too many comebacks yet. So yeah, I think it's a fun way for rookies to kind of show them who's boss and that they're here to stay and that they deserve the success that they're getting. So yeah, I thought it was very playful. Also, Onda has lines this time, so people can, you know, stop complaining. It always bothered me that people complain about me getting too many lines, but like, I don't know if y'all have heard the, the audio demo. Um, it suited me better than Onda. Onda's a good singer, but her voice suits songs like this and Bomo Chocolat more than Dun Dun or Adios. So yeah, so I am glad that she's getting, that she has like um, her own time to shine in this song because I do really like her. I think she's adorable and she's really talented. So I'm glad that they gave her a title track that she fits into now. So that way everyone can have the line distribution and they can stop getting so much hate about the line distribution because like it would always like kind of put a damper on the comeback like because then people were fighting all the time and I just wanted to enjoy the music. So yeah. I also thought this was one of EU's best verses. I read that she actually wrote the lyrics for this, which is really cool that she's kind of expanding more into working in the production side, if that's the case. Yeah, she is my bias record. And I think that this, uh, her rap in this song, and then she also really popped off in Good Boy. Um, on It's one of the B-sides on this album. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, so she really got to shine this comeback, I think, and she had... Just a lot of cool energy to her. Here we go. Hey, uh, Shehan, she really popped off with the vocals this time. Like towards the end of the song, when she when she stops and she goes, um, "This one's for the haters, all the bad guys and the players," and she just like just power vocals right there. And I feel like Everglow really hasn't gotten a chance to like really show off their their vocal qualities because a lot of their title tracks have been more dance-based, 
Um, so like on some of their B-sides, like uh, Salute, Moon, and um, Player, they got to show off their vocals a bit more. But this is the first title track where like I think Shihyun and Mia really got to pop off and show that they are talented vocalists as well. But yeah, I also feel like that this wasn't like a noise chorus in K-pop. We get a lot of noise choruses recently and like Everglow has like, you know, when there's not like singing. Um, so like Dun Dun. I love Dun Dun, but that's like a noise chorus where they just have like one little short phrase that they repeat over a beat drop. Whereas this one, they sing all through the chorus. So I like that. And then the whole retro future vibe of this whole song was very cool. Um, I like that we're getting like these these throwback sounding songs because you have this and then you have Dynamite. Um, and I know back in the day, Wonder Girls also did like a throwback concept with I Feel You. But yeah, I love that Everglow is dipping into it too and kind of bringing out a new sound because they always bring a new sound. Like it always sounds like Everglow because it's always powerful and fun and just cool, but it always sounds different too. So yeah, definitely I think their strongest title track so far and it's just it's just great and I hope that this really shoots them up well, like what's where, where was I going with that I hope it skyrockets them to all the fame in the world because it's a great song the styling now this if I were to focus on every individual thing we would be here for an hour and I'm I'm too sick to deal with that right now so I'm just gonna sum it up with those leather outfits that they put them in are everything like especially um Shihyun's like with where she had like the, the long sleeve jacket she looks so powerful in that but like all of them did um yeah also Yurin looks really good with blue hair that's a really good color on her she suits like the dark dramatic colors really well and she just looks like like a super spy or whatever <laughs> Um, and Onda in Space Buns is like the best thing ever. She's so cute and that's a hairstyle that really works for her because she's got like such a small face and then she's got the little buns and it looks so cute so I love her. Um, also the eye makeup in this music video, uh, Josie you can just throw up pictures of all the eye makeup in here because they like they really popped off and like every time there was like a close-up of one of their faces I was just like pausing it to see like could I could I do that? Could I pull that off? Like, do I have the stuff to do that? Because, like, I want to do that. I just, that's what I want to look like all the time. Because they looked so good. Um, but I think my favorite outfit in this whole thing, like, outside of the leather outfits, because they were powerful looking, was um, EU's, like, sparkly sequin jacket that she wears at the end when they're kind of, like, in that, like, rave kind of setting. And she has these, like, shiny pants on. Yeah, I thought that was super cool. And I want to give that one a particular shout out. But really, all they didn't have a single bad outfit in this. Like, they had, like, the, the leather, they had the red, and then they had, like, these, like, funky, like, colorful, like, high fashion kind of outfits. And all of them looked so good. And each member stood out and shined in their own way. Uh, but the choreography. So this one, it was super fun because they really played around with it. And they, they always try to do something different with their choreographies, which I really appreciate. And they had a really kind of like a like a nice and simple point dance to follow in the chorus, but then the rest of the choreography is just insane. <laughs> so they had the little part where they like covered their eyes and just let their mouths show when they did the la di da, and that's something that the, the fans can follow along with. But then they also really played with like levels and stuff, so they like made use of all of the space that they had, and I don't know. I don't know dancer terms. I used to be a cheerleader, so like I'm trying to trying to use some of those terms to see if they overlap at all. But yeah, they really they really uh, made use of levels to keep it eye catching and creative. And they tried really cool formations, and they had an epic dance break at the end. And she had, she she really she really popped off in this in this era. Like her and Asia and you, I think, are the ones that like really 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 popped off the most in this. Like she just like slid out on her knees on like the front of the floor and then they had they all like gathered in a little circle and you didn't have her whole like turn it up now turn it turn it up now and it was just it was just cool and fun it was epic it was powerful and it was epic yeah so the the music video itself 
the color scheme that was like the first thing that popped out to me it kind of looked like they were in gotham city a bit in the beginning like it's almost like like waiting for batman to pop out somewhere <laughs> but then how it was like black and white but then like the red popped out so like mia had like red lipstick and a red jacket on and then asia too she had some red on her and they're in the car and it just looks really cool and then um and then it goes into the whole retro future kind of vibe and you had like a high fashion sort of vibe but then also some of the settings remind me of bulka by dreamcatcher so like some of the settings that they use it kind of overlapped and since i really liked that music video i also liked that it kind of gave me the same feelings in this one i didn't really see much of a storyline to it even though i did feel at times like i was watching like a superhero movie or like a spy movie because like when Aisha was like going through this like little crawl space type thing it kind of looked like they were being like spies or something i don't know um but i think that even though there wasn't much of a storyline that this music video captured the performance element that they were going for and i really liked that so it was just very visually pleasing to watch and it highlighted everyone so well they all look beautiful they all sounded beautiful and i'm very excited to uh continue to see the rest of the promotions for this i hope they get another win because this comeback is everything okay well that's it for me um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below what you thought of this music video and yeah, subscribe to our channel because we are growing very quickly now and it's always been, it's been really fun to kind of interact with you guys in the comments and, um, to see what you guys are thinking. It's, it's been very fun, very fun. So yeah. Okay. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Bye.